Thanks so much for coming out to the early show. to be a doctor so I do this they say your dream job I won't pay your bills they said change your dream but I just changed my bills I'm a hustling baby so people bragging about how rich they are some people crying about from it all. There's always a little bit of hummus in the couch to sleep on. I've been sinking in the clubs, singing my shit. I don't know how I'm still alive, but I ain't dead yet. I'm from musicians, I get advice from thieves. Sometimes it's totally different, sometimes it's the same thing. Steal a lot from one person and they call the cops. Steal a little from everyone. You rise to the top of us. some cash money I used to have but I no longer have just cause I made it don't mean I saved it I ain't that smart I ain't that complacent and they're the last people I want to give it to I don't trust how they spend it they don't spend it like I do I got a little bit of money for a little bit of thrills I'm paying my rent in the dollars I first saw our next artist busking in a food court, and he now plays the main stages at some of the biggest festivals out there, sells out the Fillmore. It is a great pleasure to welcome to Hardly Strictly Bluegrass, John Craigie. Thanks so much for coming out to the early show. I always want to be a healer and give out medicine. I was too dumb to be a doctor, so I do this. They say your dream job, I won't pay your bills. They said change your dream, but I just changed my bills. I'm a hustling baby. So people bragging about how rich they are. Some people crying about how poor they are. I do my best to hide from it all. There's always a little bit of hummus in the couch to sleep on. I've been sinking in the clubs, singing my shit. I don't know how I'm still alive, but I ain't dead yet. I'm a from musicians, I get advice from thieves. 
Sometimes it's totally different, sometimes it's the same thing. Steal a lot from one person in the car, the cops steal a little from everyone. You rise to the top, all of us. Some cash money I used to have, but I no longer have. Just cause I made it, don't need to say it. I ain't that smart, I ain't that complacent. They're the last people I wanna give it to. I don't trust how they spend it, they don't spend it like I do. I got a little bit of money for a little bit of thrills. I'm paying my rent in the dollar. miles from wherever I play And you want some kids, maybe I want them too Can we get ourselves a whole one, maybe 22 Ain't got no college loans, ain't got no other debts too He could smoke with me, he could drink with you He could be my drummer, David Crosby did that He did a racist kid dumb to be a doctor, so I do this. Thank you. Woo. San Francisco, Golden Gate Park, Harley Strictly Friday. Thank you so much for coming out. I'm so happy to be here. Don't you leave me this way I've been mumbling like a fool I don't know what to say I go on and on I go on and on I've been kissing your lips I've been kissing your eyes Been licking your scars Honey, I don't mind You hit some rough jones You hit some rough jones Judgments. I ain't keeping the scars. How many times will you let me until you don't let me no more? Oh, hey. Out of Tennessee, don't you know what it's for? Them boys been calling your name. They've been kicking your door. They just can't get enough. They just can't get enough. Just from where we met, we'll just lie right here and roll some brand new skin. We heal it all up. We heal it all up. Can't make it back to your bed. We pass out right on the floor. How many times will you let me until you don't let me no more?
grace, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Oh, I've been biting your neck, trying to silence my woe. How many times will you let me get you? You don't let me no more. so much. My name is John Craigie from Portland, Oregon. It's my buddy Nico Dass on the guitar. This is his first time playing Harley Strictly Bluegrass. Give it up for Nico. On the bass of Eva Lafay. She was here with me in 2019. We got to play this festival. We were on a different stage, a smaller stage over there. And they said, don't worry, John, it's a small stage, but you get a lot of foot traffic because it's on the way out of the festival. And I was like, cool. But then it's a little bit of an ego check because you see people who are leaving and they're like, mm, nah, I'm still gonna leave. And they just <laughs> Some people would stay, which is very nice. And I'm very happy to be here. And I know maybe some of you guys were wishing for some sun sunshine, but this is, this is working for me, this fog. It's working for me. Thank you, because I love fall tour. Fall tour is my favorite tour, mostly because summer tour is hard for me. Fall tour is nice because everyone gets inside, the rooms are dark and people get sad, you know, and I like that. Summer is hard because people are happy and they have their hula hoops and that's challenging for me. A sad audience works good. They're a little more mellow. They're not too excited. I like that. It's just a different energy in the summer, right? In the fall, I can say something really simple, like I wrote this next song in Montana and the people will be like, Okay. Summertime, it's different. I'll say I wrote this next song in Montana. Some girl with a hula hoop will be like, yeah, you did, Daddy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't handle that kind of heckle. I'm not prepared. Every, the first show of every summer tour is always really challenging. This year, it was in Chico, California. Give it up from Chico. Everyone was dancing. I didn't even do anything. They were just dancing. It was really freaking me out. I was like plugging my guitar and they were like... I was just trying to stay focused. And as I was telling one of my stories, this woman came to the side of the stage. She was holding this toddler, just lifting this toddler. She was really strong. And she was like, excuse me! Shaking the toddler, excuse me! I looked over and she was like, this is Arlo? Arlo's lost his mom. You need to make an announcement. I was like, Shh, of course, of course. It's gonna kill my vibe, but I'll do it. So I say to the audience, I was like, hey, uh, this is Arlo, he's lost his mom. If Arlo's mom is out there, maybe put down the hula hoop and uh, come get Arlo. And I see this hand come up from the crowd, one of the dancers, and she comes out and she looks and she's like, it's not my Arlo. It's like, damn it, how many Arlos are there? And where's your Arlo? We got two missing Arlos right now and it's killing my vibe. <laughs> anyway, the fog's working for me is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on a Friday. Violence, I got my hair bone. It is from me wherever. 
so much I got a new record coming out in January I'd like to play you a new song off of that <clears throat> thank you for that smattering of applause I appreciate the support no I'm teasing it's okay it's all right new stuff it's a bold move hardly strictly I should just be playing all the hits we're gonna try something new though and I always get a little self-conscious playing a new song up but I had a revelation this summer about new stuff. I went to go see Neil Young this summer. Love Neil, one of my favorites, yeah. <clears throat> He's so confident and so cool on stage. These days, if you go see Neil Young, it's amazing. He was solo in a place like this, thousands of people. The whole stage was full of instruments, and Neil spends most of the show wandering the stage, figuring out what instruments he wants to play. He's just like this. He's like... And the whole time while he's wandering, he's got little microphones on his harmonica holder, and he kind of just talking to himself, but it's all stuff we want to hear, you know. He's just like wandering. 1972. <laughs> Woodstock. <laughs> Everyone's very happy with the mutterings. Sometimes he'll ask a question, but you're not quite sure if it's for us. At one point he was like, what's your favorite planet? <laughs> oh, you guys know. <laughs> He would have loved you guys, okay? This was right outside of Portland, and everyone was like, is he talking to us? I think he wanted us to say Earth, like in some beautiful little, like, climate moment. But this is a bunch of hipster Portland nerds. They were like, I'm more of an exoplanet guy myself. <laughs> Neil seemed annoyed. But I had a revelation, because what would happen is Neil would say, this next song's a new song. And no one would boo. No one's going to boo Sir Neil Young, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you could feel the collective disappointment. But then he would sometimes say, this next song's an old song, and everyone would cheer. But he didn't even say what it was. It could have been, I'm a little teapot. That shit's old. <laughs> it ain't cool. But I realized there's a comfort, there's a safety in old songs. If I tell you I'm about to play an old song, you know one thing, right? If I had an old song and it sucked, I would have stopped playing it by now. But with a new song, there's only one way to find out if it sucks. So thank you so much for giving us this shot. One, two. One, two, three, four. I 
assim há uma labana lá que eu vou Eu me quinte só um matão de fogo A luz e dó Lá de dó de pinte e de fogo Just to fill it up again Tell me, darling, was my patient more than a patient sin? I feel that judgment creeping in on me Say my mother, none should suffer the loss of a love Preachers, preachers, eager as they drag me down. They all feel like lighthouses watching me drown. Bright light in a villainous hell across the sea. Thanks for not booing the new stuff. That's very sweet of you. I noticed one thing about the Neil Young show is that whenever he would play a new song, he would always follow it with a stone cold classic hit. San Francisco, as soon as I get one of those, it's going to be fucking sweet. Yeah? Until then, all I can offer you is and assure you that this song is in fact old. One, two, Thank you. 
Thank you for the encouragement. We're really happy to be here. Give a hand to Vetiver who played right before us. We love Vetiver. We got Shaky Graves coming up next. Thank you, Shaky. Thank you, Vetiver. This is a hell of a day. <clears throat> last year, last October, I was doing a Europe tour, which I've been enjoying doing. You going to Europe is, is very fun for me. I find though it sometimes takes them a little bit longer to get what I'm doing. The Americans, they know what I'm doing a little quicker. And I think that's just because in Europe, I find that when they have an Americana artist with an acoustic guitar, they would like me to fit into one of two stereotypes, of which I f fit into neither. They either would like me to do the stereotype, which is like the Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, where they're like, oh, this is a cowboy and he wants to kill people. This is good. I'm not that. Or they want me to do the other stereotype, which is like the Towns Van Zandt Guy Clark, where they're like, uh, this is a cowboy, he wants to kill himself. This is great, you know. But when I get up there, they're like, mm, he's not the cowboy, and uh, we don't know if he's happy or sad. This is hard. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we got limited time, so the bits are going to be very truncated, so thanks for working with me on this. Let's see. I put out a record called Mermaid Salt last year. This song is kind of new, and it goes like this. See, I've been born dead. She'd been jealous the whole time. So she tied us both to the stairwell, made me light one last farewell. I could still hear her crying through the flames. And when the hell and the police arrived at the scene, the fire must have burned away my invisibility. They pulled me out. Scratch, they couldn't believe. Just a loose rope wrapped around me, and I tied to everything. I light it up, so.
Thank you so much. Thank you very much for coming out on the Friday. I really appreciate that. If you like what you're hearing, we got some uh, vinyl records and some t-shirts at one of the merch tables. And, and I'd like to sing this next song for you. I was in Woodstock, New York last spring, and I got to play at Levon Helm's Barn, which was very cool. It was a nice moment for me. Thank you. I had a day off, and I walked around the city. I jumped onto a little uh, walking tour. There's a lot of music history in Woodstock, and we walked past this coffee shop on the walking tour, and the host of the tour, she pointed to this coffee shop. She said, in this coffee shop, Bob Dylan wrote Mr. Tambourine Man. And I was like, maybe. I heard a different story. This is what some guy told me. Trust a musician who plays with their eyes open. All the good shit happens when they're closed. You gotta give yourself the shivers before you could give them to somebody else. So I wrote Mr. Tambourine Man and I left it in the dust. The perfect song is a song that ship only got to play once. I don't want to be no dinosaur blaming the asteroid for my stripe. I might have been born yesterday, but I've been up all night. Oh, yeah. And the apocalypse is over. I hope you like your job. Yeah, ain't it a shame? Nobody sets anybody free.
We got some friends here we'd like to bring out from Goodnight Texas. I'll be being cool, everybody. Give it up for Avi. I just would like to mention that that last song entitled I Wrote Mr. Tambourine Man is based on speculation and hearsay. It's just what some dude told me. I don't mean to claim for legal purposes that Bob Dylan did not write any particular song. Last night I had the honor of playing a benefit show for Camp Winter Rainbow at the Herbst Theater and I had Peter Rowan next to me, Steve Earle and Ricky Lee Jones all lying on stage with me and Ramblin' Jack Elliott was right there and I sang that song and I was like, these guys are gonna fucking tell Bob or something, like, <laughs> I gotta watch myself. So I'll do respect to uh, all the songwriters out there, that's just what some dude told me. This next song is, uh, is for real true. <clears throat> I wrote this song during the pandemic when I was very uh, frustrated and uh, this is the sassiest song I have. And, uh, it's a little bit of me being a whiny little bitch, but otherwise, it's a, <laughs> everything is true. I got my wings clipped, I got my trunk checked, supposed to last me through the apocalypse. I spent it all on. Some left this shit as a fuck you to him and my kids on the end. Yeah, well, I don't give a shit about the burning bush. Noah's Ark, to you of every animal. Is this the new flood? Is this the new plague? Is this the rapture? Oh, just the first wave. My lungs are clean, at least a day. I feel a month glory roll.
Trump check supposed to last me through the apocalypse? some more friends we'd like to bring out Laura T. Lewis to help us sing this next song thank you so much we got we want to fit uh, two more songs in real quick thank you again for giving us this space we really enjoy it Shaky Graves coming up next lots of great music all today and tomorrow and Sunday
Thank you so much, San Francisco. That's all we got for you. We love you so much. Have a great night. John Craigie.